See, that's why I like Jermaine Blackburn the best, because he's the fastest dribbler. Yeah, but can he double dribble? Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, that's technical though. He wouldn't understand. It's gonna be an alley oop. Guys, guys, check it out. James, look. Woo! Alley oop! But that was an alley oop. Alley oop, James. Do you even know what an alley oop is? You keep saying it, but I don't think so. It went in the basket, man. Yes, it did, Adam. Good eye. You're very astute. What is your problem today? It's just my brother Steve is moving home. He's such a dick. Man, your brother's awesome, and he's like super rich. If he's so rich, why isn't he staying in a hotel instead of on my couch? He can stay at my place. You want him, you got him. Hey, man, I'm sleeping on your couch. Not anymore, Tim. Sorry. What? Sorry, Tim. Man, if your brother was such a dick, then why did he get us these awesome basketball tickets? These are the cheapest seats in the house. And he just did that to soften the blow of him moving back home. Or maybe it's because of that. Check it out, man. I think we have to kiss. I'm getting a beer. Steve, what an awesome surprise. What are you doing here? You knew I was coming. Yeah, but you're early. No, I'm not. Either way, I get all this awesome stuff planned for us. First, we're going to hit Amazing Ray's Pizza, and then we can go to Reversing Falls Outdoor Mini Golf. It's winter, so it's free. Hope you brought rubbers. Why? So your feet don't get wet. It's because of all this rain. It's basically a swamp down there. We gotta jump a fence to get in. Yeah, we're not doing any of that. Where's your bathroom? Man, if it's because of the rubber boots thing, I got extras that you can wear. It means Tim won't be able to go, but... Hey, Steve. You want a beer? Yes. Man, I'm so excited. I can't believe that Steve's gonna be staying with us. This is awesome. <laughs> you got like a man crush on him? No, I just think, I think he's cooler than you and James. But listen, he just got off an eight-hour bus ride. You know, maybe let him relax a bit. Yeah, I guess so. Hey Steve, remember where you were skiing? Those two guys ran like head first into each other? That thing you said was hilarious. Okay. Say it again. Say what? That thing you said when they ran into each other. What was it? Uh, oh yeah. Wham! Ten points! <laughs> That's right. And I said, get a room. Yeah, I was really drunk, but... You know what, it really wasn't that funny when the paramedics had to come take them away. No, it wasn't. Well, just say it that one more time. Come on, for old times. Listen, I'm just going to go in my room and watch the game. You want to yes. go? Yes. Is it, is it wrestling? No. It's hockey. Hockey and basketball. Flip in between them. I like wrestling. Okay, so I know you probably told me this but during your week-long booze fest that was your birthday, but why is it that you're moving back to Reverse and Falls? Spite. Spite? I moved out of Spite once. Yeah, Spite and the, the Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing Charity Auction. The Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing Foundation? You, you work with them? Not exactly. Do you think they can actually stop the reversing? Yeah, they can with my help. I'm a major investor in a company that's actually developed a way to make the reversing stop. If the auction makes enough money, I stand to make a fortune. Wow, but what about the spike part? <laughs> oh, that's the tricky part. There's my arch rival, Scott Blackley. Is he named Mayor? A uh, city councilor, Ward 3, I think. Yeah, he cheated me out of that spot. That's why I moved in the first place. And he did a bunch of other stuff that pissed me off also. He cut me off in traffic a bunch of times. And Anyway, he's in the, the rival foundation that's trying to preserve the reversing. The Stop the Stop the Reversing Falls Foundation from Stopping the Reversing Falls from Reversing Foundation? That's not what they're called. They're actually called the Heritage Foundation. Those bastards. Why would anybody want to unreverse Reversing Falls? Well, they're pretty sure it's killing the fish. And ducks. Really? Yeah, think about it. You're a fish. Life is dandy. You're swimming along. Everything's awesome. You're about to go over some perfectly normal falls, and then BAM! You're headed in the other direction. Then BAM! You're headed back in the direction you were going in the first place. Then BAM! You're headed in the other direction. It's completely disoriented. You're a dizzy fish, and then you die. You die! It's like a David Lynch movie. I do not get those movies, but they scare the crap out of me. I'm with you guys. Where's this auction? Do you want to come, Tim? It's tomorrow night. Yeah, sure. What about me? No. Why not? Because frankly, I don't like you that much. 
and you put people off. I don't get people off. I've never gotten anyone off my whole life. Tim's the one who's always getting people off. Yeah, I do it again. Yeah, like that time he got the old lady off the bus. That's what you guys are talking about, right? It means you're going to make a scene, because you always make a scene. I'll make a bigger scene if you don't bring me with you. Yeah, but you'll make the scene here and not at the auction. Steve, come on. I thought we were buds. Well, stop thinking that, and I'll think about it. Great, I got a tuxedo somewhere. I'm gonna go get it. You won't regret this, Steve. Yes, I will. I'm so excited. This is awesome. I've never been to a real live auction before. I'm not sure you're coming to this auction. Where'd you get that shirt? I don't know. I found it, or it was a gift or something. I don't remember. But you gotta let me go. I can change it. Come on, please. You'll have to shave. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Now. Okay. Man, how do you live with that guy? Yeah, well, rent's cheap. His mom signed the lease, so... Well, I guess that's something. There's some guy outside in a suit. I assume he's here for you. Damn it, it's Blackley. How did he find me? Well, Adam posted on Fishbook, said you were staying here. He's coming to the door. Don't answer it. There's a window in the door. He can probably see you right now. Hello! I'm Councillor Blackley, and I'm going door to door to raise awareness about the wonder of nature that is the reversing falls. Oh my god. Stephen, Stephen Hovey, is that you? You know it's me, Scott. It's only been four years. Well, yeah, but I didn't think you'd ever come back to Reversing Falls after you lost the election. Well, I wanted to move to a city where entitled councillors can't just cut you off in traffic whenever they feel like it. Turns out Montreal's worse for that. That was one time and you waved me in. I was dancing. I didn't come here to talk about the past, Steve. I'm here to raise awareness about the threat to the wonder of nature that is our namesake, the Reversing Falls. All right, Scott, I'm going to stop you right there. We're in the Stop the Reversing camp. I should have known. You always were the liberal hippie type, Steve. Kills fish, man. There's no proof of that. I don't care if it's killing the fish or not. All I care about is the foundation raising enough money to buy my company's technology. You own ball flow? I'm a pretty major player. And with the money I make off this deal, I should have no problem beating you in the upcoming election. Yeah, that's right. I'm running against you. Well, I can see you've made up your mind. Good luck with your little auction. What a dick. Your company's called Ball Flow? <laughs> yeah. You didn't mention running for council. Oh, that's because I just thought of it. It's a good idea, though. Did you see the look on his stupid face? Now I have to do it. I'd vote for you. Yeah, me too. So you're staying a while, then? Listen, Charlie! I need you to find me some tough guys, some gangsters. We're gonna shake things up at their little auction. Hang on, hang on, I'll call you back. Did I hear you say you need some gangsters? Maybe. Why, who are you? I'm Tim Hotdog, and I happen to run a pretty tough gang here in Reversing Falls. Get in the car. How's this? Get rid of this. Okay, sure. And this is gonna be awesome. Tim's gonna be here soon. Not you, the other Tim. I know what you mean, Adam. Okay, here's the plan. I want you guys to bid on everything. I'm not bringing any money. Bonehead, I don't want you to win. I just want you to jack up the prices. What if I win by mistake? I'm going to give everybody a couple hundred dollars. Oh. If you spend it, I'm going to consider it a loan. With interest. Oh. I'm not paying you back. How do you like me now? Uh, you should have kept it. Shave the goatee. And your hair's too long now. Okay. All right. All right, gentlemen. As you know, the Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing Charity auction is tonight. It is? My wife and I are supposed to go to that. 
You're going to the auction, but not with your wife. She's gonna be pissed. Toenail, grow a pair. All I want you guys to do is go in there and clear the place out. Flip over tables, yell at people, whatever it takes. Scare the C-R-A-P out of them. How do you feel about smoke grenades? Is the smoke poisonous? I don't think so. You know what? Do whatever you want. The less I know, the better. All I care about is that auction losing more money than it makes. Can you handle that? Uh, I'm not very good at math. Nobody... There is no math! Look, if you do as I say, the auction won't make any money at all. Now, the bidding starts at 8, and that's when you strike. Uh, if we get there early enough, can we get something to eat? No, no one can see you there. Oh, it should go without saying, if you get caught, you don't know me. Yeah, but we just met. This is Mike Rogers here with Local 107.3 in conjunction with Channel 17 News here at the Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing a Charity Auction. We've got people of all shapes and sizes coming out here tonight. Why don't we talk with a few of them now? Hey, aren't you the crazy guy? Uh, TV guy tonight. Is that thing recording? Is it live? Oh, we're live right now. A new shout out? Uh, why don't you tell the people why you're out tonight? I want to give a shout out to my mom. They let me in. And my friend James and my roommate here. Tim. Hey. We can watch it tomorrow on the PVR. I also want to give a shout out to myself watching this tomorrow. And James's brother Steve, who's staying on my couch. Woo! Okay, can uh, we just well, yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Uh, <laughs> management hoping beyond all hope that that man has a wallet stuffed full of money. We're going to be coming right back just after a word from our sponsors right here at the Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing Charity Auction. So, what are you going to fake bid on, Jason? I brought my own money. Check this out. I could be the first one swimming in reverse and falls when they stop at reversing. Ooh, all these prizes are so crappy, and nothing's going to go for under a grand. There's a month here with a personal trainer, boys. We could all use one of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a police auction kind of guy myself. What about the falls? You don't care about the fish? Doesn't kill fish. It's not like they can stop the thing anyway. Hey guys, check this out. Grand prize at the auction is a free throw at halftime at the next Bill Rats game. If we pull up all the money that Steve gave us, I could go to this. Come on, guys. No. no. Steve's making us pay back that money with interest. There's no fun. Thank you. First of all, I want to apologize to everybody for the disco light. Uh, we tried to have it turned off, but yeah, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Stop the Reversing Falls from Reversing Foundation, I want to thank you all for coming. As you're all aware, the Foundation's principal goal is to finally straighten out the natural abomination that is the Reversing Falls. Thank you. Last year we commissioned a study to look into what effects the falls reversing may have in sea life in our bay. When the study is released, it will confirm what we all suspect, that every year thousands if not millions of unsuspecting fish and seabirds are mercilessly killed by the torrent of fear after which our great city is named. Now, the biggest question on everyone's mind is, can we do it? Can we really stop the reversing falls from reversing? I'm here to say yes, yes we can, but only with your help. And now, we're gonna hear from Stephen Hogan. He represents a company with an invention that can permanently and irreversibly reverse the reversing falls. So now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. Throughout history, 
mankind has sought to take control of nature, to bend it to our will, correct its mistakes. Every year, tons and tons of fish and birds are probably swallowed by these reversing falls. Birds and fish we could be eating or exporting. But you all know the problem. The question is, what is the solution? Well, I'll show you. perfect pour, thanks to this. This little fella corrects the flow of liquid, forcing it into one direction and one direction only, never reversing. Mike Rogers, Local 107.3 News. Mr. Hobie, are you telling us that you're going to fill the reversing falls with oversized Beer balls. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the plan. Hey, that might work. I concur. <laughs> well, I, I guess that's it for me then. All right, let's get those bids up. Let's un reverse these balls. Are you guys ready? Just a few more minutes. Say, what are you guys gonna do with that 20 bucks that buddy's gonna give us? I'm gonna throw Sig and the wife out to dinner, you know, to make up for not taking her to this auction. I'm gonna replace the smoke grenades that I used tonight. Man, what's up with you and smoke grenades? They only ever make things worse. Yeah, before the enemy, though. Hey, isn't that the Jehovah Witness bandits? What are they doing here? Hey, what are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here? We're gonna crash the auction. You're not crashing. We're robbing this auction. I want to get myself a 3D TV. But you just got a TV. It's 2014. I'm all about 3D TV this year. If anybody's crashing this auction, it's going to be us. I'm going to go and steal myself a 3D TV. Yeah, well, there's only two of you. We're a whole gang. Yeah, we're not scared of you. Oh, no? No. Wait, guys, we can work together on this. How? You guys want to rob the auction. We just want to scare everyone out of there. If we work together, everyone wins. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. That's a, that's a good idea, Tonel. You're done good, Tonel. Yeah, great job, Tonel. That was awesome. Good idea. Hey. Lady, this is the men's room. Oh, I am more than welcome here, honey. Trust me. Dad? Son? You're not here to bid on me, are you? What are you talking about? You're for auction? Yeah, I'm the prize. A date with me? It used to be this young girl that I used to work with, but she had an unfortunate accident, and so they had me instead. I'm here. Dad, I don't, I don't know how to put this to you, but... You're a dude. People can tell. Well, oh, well, that's what this is for. Yeah. Mystery bag. Yeah. They're gonna figure it out eventually. Well, they're gonna have to find out the hard way. <laughs> hey, fella. You up for the option too? I'm the mystery bag. Prize is a blind date with me. And if you win my award-winning one-month sweat down package, not only will you be going for four grueling weeks of enforced Zuma training. Oh no, no. No, no. You'll be winning a friend. Not the best friend or anything. But I have no problem saying hi to you in the mall or even on the streets. So one question I have for you is, are you ready to get your sweat on? All right, there you have it. One month's severe exercise and a friend for life. 
We're gonna start the bidding at hundred dollars. Who's gonna give me hundred dollars? Where's my hundred bucks? One hundred. One twenty-five. Oh, cool. We're doing this now. One twenty-five. I got one twenty-five. Looking for one fifty. Where's one fifty? One fifty over Where here. Where are those 150. idiots? I'm looking for one seventy-five. Where's one seventy-five? One seventy-five. One seventy-five over here is gonna give me two hundred. I want two hundred. Oh, gonna drive up the prices. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars from the guy with the least amount of money. He doesn't have a thousand dollars. What are you doing? Man, you said you wanted us to drive the prices up. You said you wanted to milk these suckers. No, that's not what I said. Don't listen to him. Oh, this is even better. I gotta tell those gangsters the deal's off. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. Where's the food at? Oh, until after you stand down, you're going against orders. Fine, I don't care. Toenail, flip over the table. Now what? Let's track this place and rob these people. Blackley is behind this. Guarantee it. Those voices sound awfully familiar. If Tim was here, we could tag team them. Yeti Machete and the Red Lobster back together. Come on, guys. We're supposed to be the prizes of this auction. Well, now the auction needs us. We're the prizes that the auction needs, but not the prizes the auction deserves. What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's, it's something from Batman. Anyway, you know what Batman would do? He'd kick their asses. You're damn right, ma'am. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we do what Batman would do? Let's kick their asses! Whatever. For Batman! For Batman! This looks like a job for Yeti Machete. No, they don't need you. I bring that costume with me everywhere I go, and I never get a chance to use it. This might be the only job for Yeti Machete. I need to do this, James, and I need you to understand. You're an idiot. This is Mike Rogers reporting from the Stop Reversing Falls from Reversing Charity Auction, where the scene has turned to anarchy. We're hiding right now as the gang decides what they're going to do next. Wait, some of the prizes seem to be fighting back. Pick the wrong charity auction, dickhead. This causes everything to us, and if it need to be, we'll defend it. Enough talk. Let's get our sweat on. I'm not even the master criminal you all think I am. I don't even know what an auction is. Is that Tim? What is he doing here? Listen here, you little bastard. I don't care what you know, what you don't know. The bottom line is I'm gonna take your arm and I'm gonna break it over your face and then I'm gonna take your elbow and I'm gonna make it meet your ass. If you wanna do that to him, you're gonna have to do it to me first. Fine. We're gonna take you down, you makeup wearing freak. Wait, it's me, Dad, your son. Oh. Yeah. Nice job on the makeup. What? Whose side are you on? Hey, are we gonna kick this guy's ass or what? This thing's really losing some steam. I didn't do this. I didn't plan this. This is not my fault. Well, whose fault is it then? I don't know his name, but uh, uh, he's that guy. There he is. Blackley, I knew you were behind this. I gotta go. Hey, don't worry, I'll cover for you. I'll tell them Jason did it. Thanks, man. I'm confused. Did we save the day or not? I'm gonna say no. You could save my day if you want. Okay, I didn't catch him and I lost my beer, but I'm pretty sure it was him. I'm just not sure how to prove it. I got an <sighs> idea. Hey, uh, did you guys get any footage of that guy? No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, great job, James. Well, at least I'm trying to help. Here's how you can help. Is that thing rolling? Yes. I know it was you, Scott Blackley. You tried to sabotage us. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to publicly announce that I am going to be running for city council in Ward 3 in this year's election. We are going to unreverse those falls, and there's nothing you can do about it. I would like to say that I, too, I'm running in this year's council election in the same ward. I'm James Hovey. Vote for me. What are you doing? I'm running for council too, Steve. Take it back. No. 
take it back. No, I'm not taking it back. Can't take be taken back. back. Take it no, back. No, take no, it back. No, take it back. No. Man, you don't eat too good. Yeah. No, no. Your brother's so cool. Committing to move into a hotel, huh? It's a damn shame. I like Steve. I know. So we're running for council now. <sighs> yep, that's what it looks like. You and Steve both. Yep. He's probably gonna beat you. I know. It's gonna be a crazy year. <sighs> you say so. I'm a new. Uh, Watch my shout out again. A shout out to my mom. They let me in. And my friend James. And my roommate Tim. I'm here. I'm here. We can watch it tomorrow on the PBR. I also want to give a shout out to myself watching it tomorrow. <laughs>